as long as you have the GCP account, you should be able to uh, follow the tutorial to create your own functions. Okay, let's have a quick demo. I have two functions here deployed on the Google Cloud platform. One uses Java driver, another one uses Python SDK. The code should be familiar from the slides. These functions are called um, every 60 seconds, roughly. And, and uh, uh, th there are some metrics that, that, that have been collected over time. So we will be able to see them. Let's take a look at the Java driver first. So we have uh, four standard metrics, number of invocations per second, um, execution time in milliseconds per call, uh, memory utilization, megabytes per call, and um, active instances. So the most interested for us right now would be this execution time. You can see, let's take P95. This is how it looks like. So it mostly, uh, it mostly uh, doing fast under 10 milliseconds, but there are also outliers. There are 52 milliseconds. There is a, a 55 and there's something happened here. I don't know, uh, 160 milliseconds, but we can look at the logs to confirm those numbers. Uh, eight milliseconds, 27, nine, nine, 10, 13, and so on, so on. So most of the time we, we are doing pretty good, but again, as you've seen, there, there may be some fluctuations. In terms of source code, there is a, a project object model file, XML file here that was generated for me automatically, except I added the dependency for the data stacks Java driver to be able to use it. The Java code itself should be familiar to you already, um, except the except of the inter, uh, import statements here for the cloud functions and, and for, the, for the driver mostly. Okay, and um, you may have a question, where did I get these uh, uh, values for these variables, client ID, client secret, and also uh, cloud secure connect bundle. So those are specific to each database. You have to generate them, you have to download the the bundle on, on the AstraDB website, astra.datastacks.com. And uh, after you do that, you can make them available to your function via variables as a runtime environment variables. In this case, we have client ID and, and client secret. And um, these, are, these should be kept confidential. And uh, for the bundle, you can upload it as a secret in the secret manager. And then here we are referencing that secret and mounting it to a volume that is going to be accessible to our function. So this is how it works. Um, and uh, another thing I can show you, the under testing, you can actually execute your function and you get the result and the, the logs will be fetched and you will see the execution time. But we will not wait. We will go and check our Python SDK function. So these are the metrics that we see. Uh, the, the execution time, the most interesting for us at this time, you can see there, there are also some fluctuations, but most of them execute under 100 milliseconds. Most of the codes under 100 milliseconds and definitely under 150 milliseconds. Uh, but you can see the, the, there are some uh, differences. Let's look at the logs. What do we see? What exact numbers we see? 87 milliseconds, 149, 74, 100, 90, 60, 8, and so forth. The source code should be familiar. Again, there are three different variables that are mentioned here, they, 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 that are specified here on the runtime environment variables. This is the ID of your database, the region it's running in, and the application target, which should be kept secret. Uh, another thing on the source, there is requirements.txt file. And here we specify AstraPy, which is essentially the Astra um, uh, the, the Python SDK for Astra database. And that, uh, this is it for the demo. Again, you can 
uh, use the link that we showed previously to access a tutorial where you can create your own functions and play, play with them. Thank you very much for your attention.